A boat on a trailer attached to a truck is backed into the water at a boat launch area. Then, men fish from a boat in a river at the bottom of the Red Rock Canyon. Glen Canyon's brown trout incentivized harvest is a great opportunity for anglers to be involved with fish management efforts and visit Lee's Ferry. To talk more about the incentivized harvest, we are joined by National Park Service fisheries biologist Jeff Arnold. Jeff steers a motorboat on the river, then stands at a fish processing station on a dock. For this whole incentivized harvest program, we went through an environmental assessment. Um, it was determined that these fish, the population of brown trout was growing. We want to reduce that population. Um, one of the methods to reduce that population was this incentivized harvest. Um, if this doesn't work, we have alternative methods that we might have to in institute, um, which is like uh, spawning bed disruption of early life stages, or we might have to come in and electrofish, and we don't want to do that. So we are relying on the public to come out here and help us remove fish. They can have a good time catching fish, they get dinner, and they also get a reward for each fish caught. So that's what the main goal here is. We are wanting the public to come out here and help us manage this fish population. Some of the more common places to find brown trout at Lee's Ferry have been River Mile 4 and River Mile 12. A map of the Colorado River between Glen Canyon Dam and Lee's Ferry in northern Arizona near Page. Areas along the curved river are marked A through H minus 12 miles near Catchings Bar and Area B minus 4 miles at the 4 mile bar in Area F. Local angler Matthew Wheeler has successfully caught over 50 brown trout this year and is here to talk to us about tips and techniques to help you catch and harvest brown trout. Matthew fishes from a boat with Jeff. My name is Matt Wheeler. I'm one of the anglers here at Lee's Ferry. I showed up on opening weekend and I've been successfully targeting the brown trout. So far to date I've caught over 50, 50 brown trout this year. His fishing pole bends and shakes as he reels it in. The way I've been successfully targeting these brown trout is with a light tackle. I'm using a four pound test. I'm using the Gold Cast Master. Solid gold, golden red, and gold with the flash have all been very successful in getting the brown trout on, um, getting the brown trout to bite. Above that is a barrel swivel. So the barrel swivel is effective in getting this cast master's action to be more dramatic and more erratic, which is what's triggering the um, reaction bites with the brown trout. A view from just under the surface of the water is the gold flat tackle with hooks on the end spins and flashes. In the morning at first light, I'm on the river and that's when the fish are most active and that's when they'll get the most bites. The nice thing about the morning is you can fish shallow water and you'll have high percentages of getting the fish on because that water column is pretty small and when it sees that lure it doesn't have to exert much energy to get to it. Rainbow and brown trout swim in the shallow water near weeds. Once the sun comes up over the canyon edge that's when I transition to fishing deep water. As light penetrates more and more into the canyon, they'll migrate or move from the shallow, shallow feeding areas into these deep pockets right next to the weed bed. And then that's when I like to float about a third of the width of the river. I'm casting at a 45 degree angle to the edge of these weed beds. But really what I'm going to try to do is find an area where there's a weed bed and then there's a drop off and you'll throw your lure 45 degree angle and you'll hit five to ten yards from the weed bed and then you let that lure drop and you let it sink and then once it gets pretty deep into that pocket water that's when you want to start reeling then you'll bring your lure up and then that's when the fish will take take the lure while fishing at Lee's Ferry, it is important to remember that all local, state, and federal laws still apply. Everyone 10 years of age and older must have a valid Arizona fishing license. All brown trout must be harvested legally per current Arizona Game and Fish Department guidelines. This includes using artificial flies and lures only with barbless hooks. Rainbow trout limits still apply. Know the difference between brown trout and rainbow trout. The brown trout are brown with dark brown spots. The rainbow trout are brown with small brown spots and a pink stripe on the side of the body. Hooked rainbow trout should be carefully handled and immediately released once the rainbow trout limit is reached. We hope you will join us in managing this magnificent fishery and we look forward to seeing you on the water.
Matthew releases a rainbow trout back into the river.